Hello and welcome to the Aligned Cobble Square. This is the fourth square in the Sampler Granny Square Blanket. For the materials, you will need a 5mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a size 4 yarn. I will continue using the same yarn that I have used in the past three squares. To start, we will loosely chain 26. So make a slip knot and loosely chain 26. When you're done with your chain, we will start row one. For row one, in the second chain from hook, we will place a single crochet. And then continuing down the chain, one single crochet in each chain. When you're done with the row, you will have 25 stitches. For row two, we will chain one and turn our work. Now we will place a single crochet in the first stitch, treble crochet in the next stitch, a treble crochet is slightly taller than a double, back to a single crochet. treble crochet and you will alternate all the way across the row. When you're done with the row, you will have 25 stitches. I would make a note to make sure you end on a single crochet. Row 2 is also the start of the repeat to complete the square. Make sure to end row 2 on a single crochet. You will have 25 stitches at the end of the row. Row 3 is quite simple. Chain 1 and turn your work. then single crochet across the row. You will have 25 single crochets.
to complete this square, all you need to do is continually repeat row two, row three, go back to row two and row three. It's just a rotation of those two rows until the square is close to seven inches or is seven inches. So repeat rows two and three until your square measures as close to seven inches as you can make it. For the edge, we will chain one, turn our work, place three single crochets into that very corner stitch. For the side, we will place 25 single crochets evenly across and continue this around the square. Each corner will have three single crochets into the same stitch and each side will contain 25 evenly spaced single crochets. When you're done to finish off, we will slip stitch into that very first chain one. And then we will go ahead and fasten off with a loop. Cut our working yarn. Making sure to leave a tail long enough to sew in later in this series. And the right side of this square is when the starting tail is at the bottom left hand corner. Your square is done.